so there is not much going on in game right now battlegrounds is in its off season and it's still a couple of days until we get the last token for the reunion event champion selector so i still can't make the punisher showcase yet i'll be able to do that once i dupe him from the selector i suddenly remembered i have access to the beta though so we're going to do a video on here today and it's going to be about this symbiote spider-man this cosmic spider-man who no one really talks about this is a battlegrounds health pool fight no synergies no boosts well it's a, it's a little smaller than a battleground self pool but it's around a battleground self pool and that was 33 second fight that's not bad at all for a very old irrelevant champion so yeah on his own his damage is still pretty decent but we're not going to be focusing on that today we're going to be fully boosting this guy up we're going to be giving him a full synergy team because let's be realistic here none of you are going to rank up cosmic spider-man i don't want any of you to rank up cosmic spider-man you just want to see the big yellow numbers and with synergies his damage goes really crazy he's a very old champ so he's also a very simple champ the way this guy works is he applies a armor break on his heavy attack and his sb2 is a guaranteed crit that's pretty much all you need to know he does have that evade on special attacks but I mean it's not really too useful for attack it's not even really too useful for defense to be honest it's not like this guy is a good defender but yeah the way this guy works you just spam heavy attacks and use your sp2 with synergies though if you add the red goblin synergy this will give you a fury buff on your sp2 which on top of increasing your damage it will let you double up your armor breaks on your heavy whilst the fury is active so it's a really strong synergy there's also the stealth suit spider-man one which gives you a fragility debuff on your opponent whenever you apply a armor break fragility just increases your critical damage rating so it basically just increases your damage on critical hits and then there's the green goblin synergy which isn't as powerful this just gives you extra combat power rate on your critical hits but it is nice because it lets you get to your sp2 faster than you normally would we're up against a 10 million health pool fight this is the biggest health pool in the game well it's not in the actual game it's only on the beta but you get what i mean this is the biggest health pool that i could possibly fight and there's no damage cap on this fight which is the nice thing so you're going to be seeing some crazy special twos 300k one there but that's only just the beginning the damage is going to go crazy well 300k is already pretty crazy but the damage is going to go even crazier so i do think this guy still needs a buff of course because synergies are pretty irrelevant you know it's fun to look at these massive sb2s and all but realistically cosmic spider-man is not a good rank up choice he's not going to help you in battlegrounds he's not even going to help you in most story content because you need a full synergy team with this guy it's just fun to look at the big yellow numbers so what do i think they should do for this guy's buff adding the synergies into his base kit is a nice idea i don't know if it'd be too strong because 600k sb2s off a six star ascended that may be too strong so maybe partially put the synergies in his kit like give him the red goblin synergy let him get a fury buff on his sb2 but don't make that fury buff double up the armor breaks keep that in the synergy and i think you can add the fragility debuff into his base kit as well what would be really nice is a bulwark buff which increases your block proficiency because this guy's playstyle is parry heavy but he's really squishy his block proficiency is ass so a bulwark buff would help him massively a synergy i completely forgot about as well as we look at that 640k special 2 is the shocker synergy this gives him a true strike buff for 10 seconds on his special attack that was a 150k heavy attack yo 200k heavy attacks that's crazy but as i was saying shocker synergy gives you a true strike buff for 10 seconds on your special attacks this would be really nice to add into his base kit just for a bit of utility maybe make it a bit longer than 10 seconds though because you do ideally want to go to the special two so i'd say make it about 15 to 20 seconds and that would be a really nice addition to his base kit we got that 
10 million health pool down in 3 minutes. That's the biggest health pool in game. Bigger than any necro fights. Keep that in mind. That's a very fast time. This was just a stun vulnerability fight. I thought that would be cool to try out since, you know, he has those armor breaks on the heavy attack. It leans into his playstyle of parry heavy. And yeah, we got that 300k health pool down in around 15 seconds, which isn't too bad. And this is a power shield guardian. This is either a act 7 boss or an act 8 boss. I can't remember, but what I do remember is there's power shield on this and any special attack with guaranteed crits goes crazy with power shield yeah we got a 400k well nearly 400k special two there right off the bat crazy damage i hope when they do eventually buff this guy they change his animations because the sp1 isn't doing it for me i like the sp2 but i think the special two should be swapped out for his sp1 animation give him a new special 2 and a new special 3 because this guy's animations could be so sick he's part venom part spider-man like yeah his animations could go so hard but we're stuck with these old ass goofy animations for now hopefully when they do buff him they put in the time and actually change the animations but we're fighting this gauntlet terax and what's really cool about this fight is when terax is in his rock aura thing he can't use special attacks so if we keep him in that mode as long as possible by spamming heavies in the corner he can't use his special attacks and we can just indefinitely spam heavies so this just lets us stack up our armor breaks really fast we're ramped up at 23 armor breaks almost instantly so our damage is just gonna go crazy 41k medium attacks not bad at all and I just want to bring up the summoner's choice because 90s Cyclops ended up winning that, which I was pretty disappointed in. I just find Cyclops really boring. I haven't seen the new X-Men show, but I did watch the OG's 90s version when I was a kid. And yeah, I just found Cyclops like the most boring character ever. Really disappointed that Strange didn't win that, I think. Because they're changing the champion's animations, especially like this is a complete overhaul like the OG Iron Man buff. They're going to give Cyclops new animations. They're going to completely rework his kit. And I just think Doctor Strange had so much more potential, especially on the animation side. Like Cyclops is just the guy who shoots lasers out of his eyes. His animations probably aren't even going to change that much because... You know, I mean, he literally just shoots lasers out of his eyes. What can you do with that animation-wise? Nothing special. Doctor Strange, you know, he, he's literally like the Sorcerer Supreme. He does all types of magic shit. His animations are basic as hell. I understand he's an old character, and that's why his animations are really basic. But this was the perfect time to change them. And kit-wise, I just think... A Doctor Strange buff would have been so much more interesting. Overall, Doctor Strange is just way cooler. So yeah, I'm really sad that Cyclops won that. But if my boy Cosmic Spidey was even on that list, because I don't even think he was on it, I would have voted for him. I would have definitely voted for Cosmic Spidey. Maybe he wasn't on the list because they already have a rework planned for him. And I'm hoping so. They should really buff all the clone characters and change their animations first like that should be their priority because we still have like miss marvel who's a clone of captain marvel um that's off the top of my head there's probably someone else i'm missing i can't remember though is there any other clone characters oh cap and cap world war 2 yeah they could do with some animation differences and they did actually change og's caps animations a while ago or they added some effects to him but he never actually buffed him which is weird but yeah that's the end of the video if you enjoy videos like this let me know and i can definitely make more videos like this on obscure champions but yeah that's it next video will be the punisher 2099 showcase really excited for that